Thank you very much to be here to talk about uh, developing uh, a diverse university uh, startup ecosystem. Um, I would like to think that I am a very lucky guy because I got the opportunity to live up there. All, all, all the entrepreneurial stuff from the technology uh, as, as a student, as, as, as a teacher, as an entrepreneur as well. No? For more than 25 years, and I hope another 15 years uh, uh, and more, no? I hope so. And, yeah, and um, when I was young, I, I didn't want to be a teacher. No, the, the best thing that, that happens to me. But uh, what I knew at very early age, was that uh, I love to, to create a better place to live. I love all the entrepreneurial thing and the Tecno Monterrey, it's all about it, all about this. Um, what you need to understand about the Tecno Monterrey is that we are a, a very tiny uh, fraction of all the graduated, undergraduate students enrolled in a university program in Mexico. We represent only the 2%. Yeah, and um, uh, we also represent a, a fraction of all the active professionals holding a college degree in Mexico. You know, 40%. Uh, you think, okay, this is a small uh, uh, institution. But when, uh, when we review some metrics, uh, 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 you will see that uh, we, have, we are doing something different, truly different, and we are doing something well. Yeah. Let me show you some examples. Uh, this one, no uh, expansion. One of the top uh, influential business magazines in Mexico records that 22% of the most important CEOs of Mexico are from the Tech de Monterrey. This is awesome. No, uh, almost 25% if we consider the biggest 500 companies in Mexico. Yeah. Uh, in the last edition of the Forbes list about the most powerful woman in Mexico, 16% are from the Tech de Monterrey. Yeah. Okay, well, there, there is not a surprise that the 20% of the most important ent entrepreneurs in the city are from the Tech de Monterrey. And also, uh, eight, eight, 18 of the 40 uh, innovators under 35 recognized by the prestigious MIT review uh, in Mexico are from the Tech de Monterrey, 45%. You know that? This is incredible, okay? Uh, now, 21% uh, of our undergrad uh, uh, alumni choose uh, entrepreneurial career on the three months after graduation. 21% after graduation. You are in the, in, the, in the same situation, right? Uh, this is a grow up from the 5% uh, the that we have 20 years ago, 5% to 21. And this number grow up to 64% after 20, 25 years of graduation. No? Six of them of undergrad alumni uh, currently owns uh, at least one company. No? I must admit uh, that we prepare uh, very bad, very bad subordinates. They need a really good boss. Uh, if, if this is not the case, they prefer to work for their own. Yeah? Really. Yeah. Oh, this is a surprise. Uh, this year, uh, the World Insight Company published uh, a list of the top 50 university University in the world producing millionaires. No? And for our surprise, the Tech de Monterrey appears in this list, in the 35th uh, uh, rank uh, uh, with, uh, with, with, with no intention. No? You know, we are not, not, not looking for this. But it's the only one Latin American university in this ranking. And if you see also the QS International uh, published this year the, the, uh, the graduate employability ranking and the Tech de Monterrey is the number 20, 20 oh, I'm sorry, I don't see, number 21 no, in the world. The number 21 in the world, uh, we are in the top 25. The, so, 
something happens in the Tecno Monterey that it, uh, we could get these results. Oh, I, I almost forgot. Uh, in the, the, the Princeton, Princeton Review, uh, ranking us in the top uh, 25 uh, uh, top universities for entrepreneurship, uh, entrepreneurship programs in North America. So, why it happens? Or what happens? Why? Uh, every week we have visitors, visitors from all over the world trying to understand our model. No? They want to know how to replicate this model of the Tech de Monterey uh, back home. And there is uh, no, uh, no easy answer. No? Uh, is the history, no? is our experience, is the time. We need a, a lot of effort, a, a, a lot of people trying to do this to happen. No? Well, everything start, started with Don Eugenio Garza Sada. Uh, he's our uh, founder, the, the founder of the Tech de Monterey in the 40s, uh, last century. Uh, Mexi Mexico uh, has a strong dependency on for foreign experts to transfer and use technology. Uh, Don Eugenio was graduate of the MIT, you know? so he has the inspiration to, to create the Tech de Monterey, you know, to, form the, the, to form the experts in Mexico. You know? So it happens in 1943, uh, 73 years ago. This is a picture of La Casona, our first building, no? uh, September 6, no? 1943, as I said. Uh, we start with uh, 350 students no? in the downtown of Monterey City. Today, we have 31 campuses in 24 cities. Uh, with almost uh, 100,000 students. No? Okay. Uh, Don Eugenio, uh, before it's, uh, uh, it's died, uh, uh, he, he wants to form professionals who wants to create a job position. No, no professionals looking for job positions. So, uh, just as there is the concept of hospital school in medicine, no? and also the training boat in Navy, no? in, 90, in, in 1975, we create a model of the company school, a real chemical school where a small group of students and professors run in the company. No? You need to, to, to move, you, you stay three months in accountability, uh, then move to sales, and then move to productions, no? you know, so, so you spend uh, a, a year in this training. No? It's, it's, it, it was an incredible model. But, uh, although a very successful model, uh, it, it was very expensive. No? And, and we catered it a, 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 a small group of students. So, this program evolved to the entrepreneurship course. No, this is a required course for all the students uh, in a degree program. No? So we guarantee that the 100% of the students have, has an entrepreneurship experience. You know, the, the, there is two modalities, no? the uh, creation of innovative uh, uh, business, businesses, and the other modality is the creation of enterprises with social impact. No? So today we attend more than 8,000 students per year no, in this program. In 1995, uh, we create our, bis, uh, our first um, business incubator. No? Um, we have a lot of problems. Uh, we, 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 we have confusion in, in many things. No? We think that entrepreneurship and innovation is what uh, it, it, it has to do with uh, scientific research, no? technology development, and, and that's not the point, no? and, and not the case. Uh, uh, science is about discover how the nature works, you know, and it must happen in, in research lab, and the product is a paper. No? That's what happened with science. Technology or technology development 
is the most creative action, uh, act of, 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 the, of the human being. No? But technology is the, the product of, of the technology development is an invention, no? maybe a patent, no? but not an enterprise. No? So we understand that entrepreneurship has to be with an economic and organizational uh, strategy. No? You need to develop the market and you need to develop the organization to, 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 to attend this market. No? So we reorganized this, uh, uh, this uh, program of incubation, and in 2001, uh, we launched uh, the, the next generation of incubators, incubators with uh, a very successful results. So uh, we are uh, doing, trying, failing, and one more time, trying again. Yeah. Okay, 2004, we start with the technology parks. No, this is spaces for uh, uh, to create an ecosystem for for scientists, technologists, entrepreneurs. No, they they, they could work together. We have uh, 14 tech, tech parks, different models. No, different models. We have a uh, regional parks like uh, Monterey, no? in Monterey this is a regional park where there are uh, different uh, sponsors, different uh, uh, associates no? to, to, to run these this initiatives. Uh, more recently we have what we, we call the innovation and entrepreneurship parks where we have maker space, uh, fab labs and, and so on. Yeah. Okay, this is our startup ecosystem today. No? But uh, what I need that you understand is that it, it, it took a lot of time, no? a lot of money, a lot of effort to, to get this. And as, the, and as in this world said, no, it's, the, it's not finished, right? Okay, we have uh, our training programs no? for, for students in a, in a degree program. Uh, that is the required course where, where we have more than 8,000 students per year. No, and we have a program dedicated to the creation of enterprises and businesses, no? and uh, where we have more than 1,000 students. Uh, the, the focus or the methodology is ba based on, on design thinking, lean thinking, exponential thinking. You know? The second ele element is the network of, of business incubator and accelerators and tech parks. No? Uh, we have 64 basic incubators. This is a model where our students are the coaches, are the facilitators of the entrepreneurs. Uh, in each case, uh, this basic incubator is for, for the people with uh, the, the poorest condition in, near to the campus. Yeah? Uh, then we have intermediate technology incubators, 25 technologies, the intermediate technology incubators, where the intellectual property is basically copyrights. No? Uh, eight high, high impact incubators where the intellectual property is, is a patent. No? You know, uh, 16 accelerators and 14 packs. Uh, also, we, 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 are, we have a tech founder, it's a fund to, to, to invest in the different projects and the distinct programs. Uh, we have uh, three uh, business angel incubators. Uh, not, not so successful, these initiatives. Uh, we need to, to work more, no? so, so this could be a, a more efficient, efficient model in, in all this thing. And, um, Okay, our faculty, no? we have uh, more than 60 uh, full-time teachers on entrepreneurship, more than 150 partial-time teachers, and more with uh, 100 coaches. All of them with entrepreneurial experience. No? They, they, must, they must be entrepreneurs as, as well, so they, they, they could uh, uh, share no? their, their experience with the, with, with the young, young entrepreneurs. Also, we have a center for entrepreneurial families. No? Sometimes we need to help families to grow up so they, they could have the opportunities for the next generations. No? So, inclusive, we, we are thinking in a, a business family incubator. No? 
sometimes uh, the, the company is very small for five sons no? and, and grandchild and so on. So we need to, 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 to create uh, a better way to, to, to develop. Or maybe you, 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 you could have a, an, an spin family, no? so you create another possibilities in, in business. No? And finally, we have our entrepreneurial festivals. Uh, uh, I think Inc. MTI is the, the, the most uh, important in this. But we also have the fest that uh, we think it could be the, the most important uh, festival in social entrepreneurship in the next years. No? Um, this year, we, we have the uh, this Inc. MTI, the, the fifth edition, not the fifth edition, it is an annual, a, annual conglomerate of entrepreneurship, technology, and innovation festivals and conference. And uh, each year we are growing up in both in scope and size. Uh, this year we are expecting more than 15,000 uh, people. Oh, this, this is crazy. So if you have the time and have the opportunity, you, you shouldn't miss this. This festival, no, in Monterrey, in Monterrey City, from uh, 17 to, to 19 November, no, we will have the presence of Richard Branson. Uh, three, three of our entrepreneurs will pitch, no, that they project to Richard Branson, and maybe they uh, could get some some money, no, uh, will <laughs> uh, will be the president of Y Combinator, so. It's a very, very exciting uh, event. You know? But it, all this is not about to, 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 to make millionaires or, or a fabric of business concepts and projects and enterprises. No, 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 no. Uh, for us, entrepreneurship is, is more than that. You no, know? It's about if you have a dream, you can do it. And all, in the tech, all the community of the Tech de Monterey can help you. You know, this is an example. No? Uh, Adriana Castro Cariaga no? is, is the founder of Ale Foundation, the most important organization in, in uh, organ donation. You know, uh, this is after he, 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 he lost a child and he had the opportunity to give life to another, another five kids. No? And, and she realized that uh, uh, there is no a culture of don uh, organ donation in Mexico. So, so, so she, she, she was a, a very hero of, of this effort. No, she's an entrepreneur. No, or maybe Hector Martinez. No, uh, Hector has more than uh, five funds, uh, impact funds. No, uh, he's doing great business, great business, but uh, also he is sharing this, uh, the, the profit with, 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 with our campesinos, no? with our campesinos. So you can do a business and doing well for the society also. No? Or maybe, maybe like Leon Krauss, no? uh, winner two times of the Emmy Award no? for her journalistic uh, work. No? So or oh, if you want to win uh, an Olympic medal, okay, also you can, you can do it, no? you know. So, so uh, my point is, uh, in the Tech de Monterey entrepreneurship, it's more abroad than make business. No? So you, 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 you can start an initiative and a project in, in, in social projects, in business, in uh, culture, or maybe in sports, or in, or in science, and whatever you want. If you can dream it, you can do it. No? And it's all about the Tech de Monterey.